really hard to start recording these types of events because I never know what to do so I normally just pop out with like driving clips or like b-roll nice Subaru brother Ooh. I hear chirping brother AC oh oh yeah cuz you got cuz you got working AC just so you know this is like my first time coming to Wicked Big Meat so with that being coming at Wicked Big Meats all the time huh? what pause just so you know, I'm gonna put some crazy shit in there when I. <laughs> there you go. It took me like 45 One, minutes to two, fucking find you. Three! Fuck you. Hello. My boy Jonathan. That's the guy that sold me the, the wheels that I'm currently on. He's taking a nap in there. That's sick. Right? That's wild. Uh, I'm like not doing a whole lot of talking here. I'm just like showing a bunch of stuff. Wow. Hey, look, there's been no intro, there's been no talking. It's just been car, car, people. People, cars. I didn't actually show you guys last time what he was like really running here, but he's got a lot of goodies on here. And he's got the like angry acorns wide body. I don't know, dude. It looks really, really good. I steal the clip with my fingers in it. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. Two of them.
That's the setup that I want. Maybe not for my car now. I think it's a Varus kit or a charge beat or something. I don't know, dude, but that looks dope. All right, buddy, your five minutes starts now. Go, go, right, go. So we're in here. We're at Wigabigme 2024. I'm going to show you guys about the Baja, tell you a little bit about it, actually. So this is a factory turbo motor, factory five speed car. Currently, now it's running a six speed transmission. Uh, bigger turbo front mount. We only have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna keep it short. It's making power. It's got some sauce. It's not stock, and I've got bolt-ons pretty much all over the car. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a little cloudy right now, but the car is green. Kind of see it over here a little bit. This morning I hit 29 and a half pounds of boost. I didn't mean to do that, but I did. The weather was actually really good. No, don't lie. It was hot as hell earlier. No, no, it was like 54 degrees this morning, bro. I Fair was enough. bumping. <laughs> My name is Corey. This is Simpai STI. Well, I'm Simpai STI, <laughs> and this is my STI. I feel like most Subarus of this body style kind of embody a very aggressive build. Most people will put, you know, very aggressive aero, stuff like that on the car. My vision was not to do that. I wanted to have a car that was very, we'll, we'll say, round um, and not aggressive. I didn't want to do any fender flares. I wanted to try to get as uh, as round and we'll, we'll put air quotes OEM plus as possible. It's currently on airlift suspension. I have my own custom slash stock airlift set up in the back. It's currently running around 320 horsepower right now, tuned uh, by Wicked Matt. Uh, I've done quite a bit since I first got this car. I'm running a stock uh, VF48. I'm running the green speed upgraded top mount. I've started a hybrid speed density uh, tuning setup, so that will be that will be done when I swap the turbo. I'm hoping for about 350 horsepower when I do swap the tur turbo. A lot of the build is just supporting modifications at the moment. We're not. I'm not focused too much on horsepower as I am enjoying the car and making it comfortable. We have the stock STI uh, center console with the airlift controller in it. We have some uh, some gauges there. And I thought when I was building the car, hey, let's have it nice and comfortable on the inside. 
So I chose and opted for uh, Alcantara wrap in the interior. Uh, it's a full charge speed half type kit around the car. I used to have a Varus wing. I've since opted for a more OEM plus wing. I will eventually probably either design my own or go in some direction I haven't decided yet. Feel free to check the car out and uh, shout out BYO Build. It's been a pretty good experience. I'm really glad that I got to come out and got to cruise with everyone on the way in. We're going to cruise back and just try to enjoy the rest of the day. 109.8. Now this is a family friendly event, so we're just gonna yacht there we go. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> okay, this is 8 inch car. Alright, it's an 02. First year we got the Primo US. Same spot of rust, man, that is just As far as colors go, this is one I haven't really seen a lot, but this looks really good. Bro, well, that is not a Subaru, but I guess it does have a boxer motor, so it counts. And I think this is Panda WRX. Duba has the RB26 inside of the, the 08 hatch. That thing is tough. This is the new 2025 WRX. TR or TS, I think is what they said. I forgot. It was I recorded it earlier, but this is it up close. They at least got rid of the cladding on the side. At least it's color match now. So I don't know much about it. I'm not educated enough, so I will educate myself and give like a little review or like my thoughts or whatever on it. But it was ripping. It was pretty cool. I like it. I feel like the new WRXs are starting to kind of grow on me, just like they always do. I feel like every generation, people are always like, this thing is ugly, and then like five years or five months down the line, they're like, this is cool. It's so fucking hot outside. Yeah. For sure going back to the cars. We're gonna sit there, we're gonna wait for everyone else to come back, and then we're gonna go grab food. mood somebody mood my car i don't know what that was until i got here apparently that's like a a, a saying of my car is kind of good looking or i have like kind of a cool car or something what? the the mooing like the, 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 the little, little cow it just means like oh someone thinks your car is cool sick i bought myself some leds because honestly i can't see at night so i feel like i want to go put these in though i put this wheel on and also decided that like it's cool and all but I'm not sure I really like it that much. And also, it's been kind of like a group consensus that the smaller flat bottom wheel is not as good looking. Should we do it? I'm going 
gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm not sure you guys have met him before, but that's Nico over there in the uh, black blob. He just got that. He used to have the 92X just like Jake, but I am now no longer the only sedan in the group, so that's what's up. We're just sitting in the 17,000 hour Subaru traffic that's here. I also switched the angles because like, I don't know, I have the option to do that now. On a scale of one to 10, dude, like I, I absolutely had a blast here. I may not have recorded as much as I probably should have. It was extremely hot, so like I just really had a hard time focusing. But I'm really just glad that I got to drive my own car here. Like this is really one of the first times that I've been able to drive my own car to like a big event. So like that's just like a big achievement and like makes me excited because I was able to experience it. Like you know, be around people just like me, do things that I like to do, just kind of hang out. Like it was, I don't know, it was just it was just nice. So this is a bad spot to be stopped on. Dude, this hill's terrible. I'm gonna attempt to try to make it out to Boxer Fest. That's all the way in Pennsylvania. So I'm not gonna make any promises, but that's definitely like a huge thing that I want to do now. This is the one part that sucks about leaving is uh, just the amount of traffic. It's not like it takes too, too long. It's just the, the sitting and waiting and my leg cramping up from holding this clutch in for like the longest time ever. Look at that, my, my muscles are flexing. We got Pedro up in the front and then Corey behind him, Nico, Cam, and then me right here. So it actually worked out pretty perfectly uh, because Pedro and Corey were in the show, like in like parked inside like the, you know, like the track or whatever. Um, we were kind of just waiting for them to pull out and they happened to be coming out right as we were passing in like the line of traffic. So we're all pretty much in a line together and it's working out perfectly. I think we're going to get some food and then just kind of hanging out for a while. So hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the event. I know I definitely did. I, I just, like I said, I love going out. I love being able to just experience. So like, even if it wasn't the greatest, just kind of like, kind of, even if it wasn't the greatest, kind of like how IFO was, I'm still probably going to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, just being out is still nice enough. Being able to cruise with the boys and just kind of like experience different stuff. Like that's always nice. And boom, we are at the spot. Oh wait. Just kidding. It's just me at the spot. As we were leaving, like we were just on the highway, just cruising and chilling. As you guys saw, I get, you know, there was a couple of cars doing flybys and whatnot. Prior to that, though, sick. Prior to that, you know, we were all doing a couple of pulls on the highway, and I was doing a pull with, I think it was like a, you know, 15 plus STI or something. And we were going for a second, and I kind of went ahead of everybody. Cam caught up with me, and then we slowed down, and then I lost them because I didn't know what exit to take because I didn't see the turn signals. So, yeah. I still got here first because Cam got pulled up for an inspection sticker, so. Damn! Here they go. What's up, buddy? I just had like the most decent steak and shrimp meal and now I'm ready to go take a nap. what the last thing I recorded was but Nico just headed out uh, Pedro and Corey are on their way home and Cam is bringing Linnea back to her car which is at his house so everyone's pretty much just going home I am also going home I'm grabbing gas and then, uh, I'm dipping it was a great experience I really enjoyed cruising with everyone getting to hang out again I love coming out and, uh, yeah man plans for sooner rather than later are to do more stuff to this car. I don't want to reveal too much because I feel like when I reveal stuff, the universe doesn't let it happen. So we're just gonna let things happen and I hope you guys enjoy the ride. Thank you all, and I will see you in the next video.